Goldfinch. Hey, yo, what's good? What's popping? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix in the flesh. Rise from the ashes and be blessed. Listen up, man. I have some good news and some more good news and some mildly bad news. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get on here and talk because I ain't got nothing better to do. Um, good news is I got my truck back. Okay. It's out there. I'm still in this hotel because, like, I've been up all night. My student, apparently, he's been up all night, too. Neither one of us are ready to drive right now. So, we'll wait till the morning. I don't care. But, um, check this out. It was crazy what they had to go through to fix this. If you guys are familiar with the International LT, it doesn't matter if you have the A26 or the Cummins motor. If you pop the hood, you'll notice that the engine is pushed way back under that hood, right? So basically like from the cab point of view or whatever, you'd be basically like your feet are above the engine or at least the back of the motor. You know what I'm saying? So this is the problem that I have with the truck. It was leaking coolant. But not in anywhere I would be able to spot it. They didn't see it either at first. How they found the leak is beyond me. But apparently it was leaking from a coolant hose that was by the DPF filter, like above the filter. There's no way I'd have been able to spot that, right? Now I'm very impressed with just how fast the dealership was able to fix it it was um from what they told me it was a lot of work but they got it done and he told me he was like i you know i'd rather be able to get you done quickly and correctly than have you sitting here over the weekend you know i know you got to get back to work shout out to rwc truck group and flagstaff arizona i rock with y'all if you ever need to get any work done with an international, I've seen a, a Kenworth there too. I guess they work on Cummins Motors as well. I rock with them. That's definitely on my list of dealerships that I would deal with, especially since I know they work with Packard products too. You know, that's something to keep in mind for the very near future, which I'll get into that shortly. They had to remove my dashboard, my passenger seat and the flooring in the truck just to get at that one hose they told me it was a whole lot of work but once they could get to the hose it's mad easy <laughs> it was just a complete pain to actually work on so now now i have even more of an understanding if i didn't have warranty on this truck I can only imagine what that labor bill would add up to. I don't even want to think about it. And that right there is why I don't exactly, in my current position, me an OTR or training even, or OTR to any facet, really, I have no real intentions of owning a truck. Mm -mm. Not with the work, not the stuff I do. I don't want to own that thing. I don't want to pay all that money. But you know, you're paying the lease payment. That's more expensive. Yeah. It makes no difference to me. You know, like my fixed costs, not even $1,200 a week. I, I I don't care if there are owner operators or at least purchase operators who have higher fixed costs than I do. So that's not really much of a factor to me. Anyway, I called them this morning and asked them how far along they were. They said, you know, they're just still working on it, putting some things back together, but we're hoping it'll be uh, done by the end of the day. Okay. I get a text an hour after that phone call from the guy who he gave me his card, actually. The guy who worked there, bam, RWC right there, Mike Walker. Shoot me a text. Hey, your truck is ready. Thank you. I needed that good news. So I go pick it up. Bring it back to the hotel. It was in complete disarray. I'm taking a break from cleaning it right now because it's a lot of work. But on the flip side of things, I got another phone call from uh, leasing, place I lease my truck from. 
and they told me that my new truck is built, it's ready, and the only thing they are waiting on is for shipping. It needs to be transported to Missouri. So right now it's just sitting at the, the Peterbilt factory in Denton, Texas. You guys know that's the main one for Peterbilt. That's where pretty much all of them are built out. Denton, Texas, I'm very familiar with it. I spend a lot of time in that area. When I'm home, sometimes I, I live in Texas, you guys know that, so I'm I'm familiar, I've seen it. It's a huge facility and I'm really excited. Even though I know there are gonna be some people who disagree with you know some of the options and things that the truck comes with. You know, it's not a Cummins, it has a Packard MX-13. Uh, 455 horsepower, 1650 torque. So some people are gonna disagree with that. You should have got a Cummins. I, first off, it wasn't an option for me. And two, I don't really care because Packard, that Packard motor, at least in my experience and my father's experience, he's had two of them. They were always reliable at least for him and in my experience they were reliable when i was using it the transmission in that truck different story but the motor itself is not a problem it's stronger than you know definitely stronger than what i'm driving right now definitely more so than the freight liners at this company um they're quiet they're smooth i can't really complain too much about a good fuel economy and all that so would I prefer a Cummins? Yes, absolutely. Do I necessarily care at the end of the day? No, all I need is for the thing to work and make money. So I couldn't care less. Plus a big part of that is weight. It's roughly, what is it, like three to 500 pounds lighter than the Cummins motor. And I need to be able to carry 45,000 pounds with full tanks. Which is another reason why it's spec that way, you know. So I'm not too mad, but I'm I'm real I'm real excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. So the way things are looking, if it can be shipped as soon as I need it to be, I should have it by like the end of the month, if not early next month. Am I gonna show you guys it? Probably not. Maybe the inside, but not the outside. I'm not trying to, you know, show my company logos and stuff like that for certain reasons why phoenix man we know who you work for i know that but i don't want that association with them because it gives them the ability to have influence over what i say and i like to speak freely that's all that's about it has nothing to do with you guys but anyway um what, what was i saying to 579 ultra loft i think he has like a 240 240 something inch wheelbase whatever it'll have the thermo king apu not too fond of that but i mean shoot i'll take it um of course super singles michelins all the way around at least it should be michelin all the way around um air ride steer axle keyless entry heated fuel tanks heated fuel filter uh, I got an air dam for the back. I got, shoot, what else? Disc brakes all the way around. Um, and a few other things. I, I bought so much crap on that thing, I can't even remember it. I know I'm gonna have the steps up to the catwalk replaced with a toolbox with steps on it, just so I could keep certain like fluids and probably put like my tire socks in there because I do not chain. I'm not doing it. I've done it before. I hate it, not doing it. Ain't gonna happen. So I'll put my tire socks in there. Y'all could judge me all you want. Um, and I'm thinking about putting a satellite dish on it, like Direct TV, or I might go with, um, what's that other one, Dish Network? What is it, the Playmaker or something like that? Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but y'all know it's like the satellite TV dish you can mount to the back of the truck and put that on. I might put that on and I'm gonna have WeBoost installed on it because I, I never did it on this truck. I wanted to, but I talked myself out of it because I wasn't gonna have it much longer anyway. So WeBoost might do satellite, definitely the toolbox. Um, 
And I had to swap the headlights out for LEDs because at the time I ordered it, I couldn't get the factory LEDs from Peterbilt. If that's something I could have installed later on, I will. If not, you know, for the time being, I'ma just rock out with the 6,000 Kelvin LED bulbs you could get from like Joplin 44 or Iowa 80 or something like that. I'll probably just swap the ones I have in my current truck into that one and then put those halogens into my current truck now and then just give it back to them now because they ain't gonna say nothing about that. But no, I don't know. I just got some things to think about. So that's pretty much the update. Got my truck back, got my new truck almost on the way. It's ready, but it, 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 you know, I'll get it soon and then we'll see what happens after that. But next thing that's really going on is I have to take time off later this month, uh, family stuff, so. Yeah, that's all I'm rocking out right now. Just giving y'all a quick little update. Let you guys know that it's all okay, as it always will be. I'm the gold phoenix. That's just how it goes. So, um, as I always tell you guys, be happy, stay blessed. Do not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life. It might end up being the best decision you ever made. I'm gold phoenix, and I'm out.